Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. This video is going to be how to check your radiator or heater hoses properly. So radiator and heater hoses. So I'm going to give you, like always, a whole heap of information surrounding that question. And um, I don't know how helpful it's going to be for you because these hoses are so good. And I suppose that's the information that matters. Now, radiator hoses. These are the hoses that we refer to as radiator hoses because they connect to the radiator. And of course, heater hoses are normally the smaller type hoses like this that connect to the heater pipes and stuff like that normally and other bypass pipes and things like that. There's some other ones now. This is what I can tell you. In different makes and models, if you are such disadvantaged that you didn't end up with a Toyota, and or not even a Prado or a Hilux, you know, I know it's sad, but look, you don't have to keep the vehicle, you can all move towards Prados if you want to. So if you've got one of those vehicles, you do need to check the hoses. Generally, the way we used to check hoses is mainly a visual inspection. So you're having a look at the hose to see one of the big things that used to happen on some vehicles, and it all comes down to not just what quality hoses you use, but what coolant and the materials used in manufacturing the engines, the radiators, and all the components that this coolant goes through and reactions they'd have. So one of the first things that could happen is, I'll give an example, because what we've got in the picture here, there's an alloy housing here, right? So where that hose goes over the alloy, on some vehicles, you could get some corrosion build up here next to the hose and it sort of forms a bit of a lump there now there's a little bit of a lump there because there's a little ridge there for the hose to go for the clamp to stay behind right which works really well on the Toyotas um, but sometimes it gets bigger than that it can build up and it'll actually eventually cut through the hose and it stretches the hose so the hose what like a balloon you blow it up too hard it stretches it becomes thinner of course it's weaker how do you pop a balloon you blow it up and you get a pin and it pops right you don't blow it up a little bit it's going to be pretty strong it's going to flex in good example of like tire pressure and stuff like that right so anyway same sort of thing here um, these are really good hoses I've seen them on these vehicles so look non-specific to Prados let's stick on that for a minute so checking hoses check what it looks like you know obviously if you see any corrosion any sort of you know wear and tear from looking at it and of course you can give it a squeeze if you feel it crack or it's gone if they're gone hard if you squeeze and it's like rock hard like plastic you know like plastic you squeeze and it's hard obviously then um when you do squeeze it you may crack it and damage it because the hoses are just rubbish and that's what i mean about some makes and models they vary from anything from rubbish through to really good quality so how to check them give them a bit of a squeeze Squeeze some new ones. Go squeeze a few new cars. Go and do a bit of tie kicking at a to car dealership on the weekend. Squeeze some new hoses. Get to know what they're like. Pop some bonnets. Squeeze some old hoses. Then go and give yours a squeeze, you know. Then you'll get to know a feel of what it feels like, right? When it starts to firm up and not feel right, you feel any cracking or hardness to it, it's probably time to replace them as prevention. At the end of the day, the reason the, it's a hose is the radio, the cooling system's in a fixed position. The engine... It's on engine mounts. It can move a little bit, and of course, they can. Well, this doesn't move, and that does. So it's to allow the movement. So there's a little bit of movement going on there, not a lot. Now, to be a bit more specific to the Toyotas and the Prados, we've got a Prado here in front of us. We've got the 120 here. So I have never, look, you know, I've seen. Let's just talk about the 120s and the 150s, right? So the 150s are up to 11 years old now. The 120s. You know, well, they're up to about 17 years old in Australia. I personally have never seen a radiator hose cracked or leaking that hasn't been messed with. Okay, I'll add that in there. When I say messed with, people that take hose off for whatever reason and they take these self-tensioning clamps off and they put, you know, screw type, you know, heater hose, you know, cl hose clamps, you know, where you, it's possible that you over tighten them. If you over tighten them, then they're going to cut into hoses. That's This is the sort of thing that causes you damage, right? When people use other types of coolant, coolant mixes, and you get corrosion and stuff going on, obviously that's where we see issues, right? Um, so stick with genuine parts. So that's the radiator, the engine, the hose, the clamps, and the coolant, the whole lot, right? Change your coolant regularly, you're not going to see any issues. When we do see issues, it's always when there's been some sort of frothy mix of coolant or something some budget workshops go on and try to change it over to some green stuff and it's all black and brown and 
you know it's maintenance so main not doing the it's called preventative maintenance preventative right get those words so you do it as prevention not you know so you just it comes back to that you've really got to be careful who you take your car to now same deal with these heater hoses you can give them a bit of a squeeze these are 12 years old right that hose right there right and I'm not afraid to squeeze it it's nice and soft quality that's why when I see a vehicle come in and it's got a get and look I have said the wrong names in videos before I see a tag and it's got some colors that look like a Toyota tag but it's a Gates tag or you know there's Gates there's Daco there's McKay whatever McItem is where you come from however you want to say it but there's all these different brands and why would you muck around these hoses from Toyota they're about I don't know 25 or so dollars each 25 who cares right what I'm saying is I've seen these at 400,000 Ks there's nothing wrong with them so please don't take them off and change them um, as prevention because there's nothing wrong with them if it comes to a time and that's what I do with these vehicles if it comes to a time we, you know this is the good part when you see the same vehicles all the time you're just working on these 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 I'll tell you when something needs to be done as prevention watch out for this that's what I'll tell you so go and watch the videos check out the pages that's where the information's already at that's how to check hoses I'm going to give you another caution do not lean on this now this radiator again 12 years old I'm going to give it a fair people say oh they're really brittle and they break off easily you know oh, I don't want to bust it but you know I'm sort of like I'm not going to don't lean on it because that's what will break it right but people say oh they're all brittle and I'm not saying you're liars or anything like that but I haven't ever been able to break one of these or seen one broken except for when I had someone here helping me the client you know helping whatever that's another story but he did lean on it he did break it we were able this is just a little tip we were able to do a dodgy and it is dodgy fold these little tabs at the side back slip the hose on a bit further it broke back a little bit so it was all right we glued the piece back on the rapid fix the two-part stuff that made it rough so the hose wasn't going to slide off anyway we put the clamp on it's all good so no dramas there you can get a brand new genuine radiator for a 150 Prado 1kd for about 500 bucks that's the good news don't ask me for a price on one for a 120 you don't want to know that's where you're going to end up after market so look after it so you don't have to change it right eventually you're gonna to have to change it then the question is going to be do we bite the bullet and pay the genuine price or do we find a good quality coyo or something like that probably but that's another story hoses we haven't seen issues with hoses when we do people have changed the clamps you know people come these clamps here are changed some people they like what are you allergic to a self-tensioning clamp so i don't know what they're doing and by the way yeah the little bit of rubber here is missing always has been you get that it doesn't matter it's just what it's going to leak there instead of go like that and drip straight down whatever okay but if you've got a spare one let me know and i'll just pop it on there um these clamps are the go that's all you need um this is how good these cooling systems are i'm going to be honest here i haven't had a good accurate working cooling system pressure tester for years and years I haven't needed one okay I don't see leaks on these the only leaks we see on those is the water pump sometimes you'll see those radiator leaks that we've demonstrated more of a weep it is a leak technically but they are very minor and you might want to just think about it before you go ahead and change your radiator but think even more about changing that coolant as prevention once the vehicle's eight years old or whatever and it's had its first one eight years or 160 whichever comes first I suggest you do the coolant every two years okay two years to save all this corrosion keep it clean you're never going to get it all out it's kind of going to be like a flush doing it every two years any excuse you can put new hoses on if you want now you've got to watch these little hoses when people put these hose clamps on and they over tighten them because they're smaller and thinner they're the ones that get cut into i have seen some posts around on facebook where people have had these leaks at the turbo and stuff like that i would suggest it's been worked on so whether it's low case then under warranty maybe it had some issue you know they're awesome cars and they don't have problems but every now and then when you do and it gets worked on this is what caused problems a lot of people are having those coolant leaks after their vehicles have been worked on with the dpfs you know the one gds you just got to watch who you let work on the car and unfortunately you can't control it all the time the warranty situation so you need to do your own checks so it pays be on this channel to have all the information you can get so when you get your car back you can do these checks and we're going to keep providing more and more information if you haven't worked it out i could stand here and talk to you all day long just about this engine and this engine bay all day and then we could do that on every other engine bay you know there's lots of information so you've got to make sure 
you have you are subscribed and you've got the bell on so you're not missing out on the ne next bit of information because as you do you just fall behind that's another one you missed that's another question you've got because the answer's here how do we check hoses on the prado let's do the short answer on the prado you don't need to there's nothing wrong with it as long as it hasn't been messed with if you've got a prado that's got aftermarket hoses or aftermarket clamps i suggest you go spend the money at your local toyota dealer buy the hoses buy the clamps replace it buy yourself some coolant right while you're at it check all your hoses to make sure because the only ones you're going to have problems with right this vehicle travels remote places outback australia it does trips 10 15 000 kilometers plus at a time it needs to be reliable these are all the original hoses guys all original okay one of the first things that's going to deteriorate that you need to replace i'll tell you so this is where the bonus information keeps coming in. I told you i can talk all day up the back here you've got a heater pipe right that goes along the back firewall right it clips into these plastic clips now i'm not saying they're old and brittle i'll give them a fair wobble again they're not broken or anything like it but i have seen them on cars broken is it because people have been rough maybe is it because someone's bumped it or they're trying to get their arm in there and they're flexed it and snapped it maybe but the good news is you just pop the pipe out of that you can buy those from toyota at the moment still just remember 120 is finished in 09 and they only have to supply new car parts for 10 years doesn't mean they're stopping at 10 years but they only have to do it for 10 years so any of these sorts of things you want to get onto asap you know those little clips for the headlights if you don't know what i'm talking about how to secure the headlights search that on my channel you know the the wobbly headlight on the 120 you can search or you can just go and watch all the videos because you just the information's there even if you think it's not for you at the start like what's happening now i just keep talking and there's information that comes out and most people have got it so those plastic clips you might want to buy yourself a couple of them one for there if you've got a 120 this is same thing there's another one over this side and they are different they just screw on right if you look at the firewall and you see those spare there's a couple of spare 10 mil studs if you like kind of similar to that there's one down there whatever that's what it is there's one of those here so you just screw those on what else i'm going to tell you around here hoses you know you've got your clips and clamps you need to make sure the clamps are right how do you check the hoses? I told you that, and there's nothing wrong with these hoses. Other cars, right? If you've got an old VN Commodore or an EA Falcon, I suggest you replace these hoses every, fairly often, you know, every 100,000 Ks. The materials used, the coolants used, and stuff like that. It's just, it's this stuff here, what we're talking about here, is quality. <laughs> it helps make things last. This is what you're paying for. When you pay a little bit extra to buy a Toyota, this is what you're getting quality. That you don't have to worry about okay so look i think that's well and truly answered the question obviously your other radiator hoses over this side here there's a hose that goes from this what i call like to call the header tank you know whatever you want to call it overflow tank header tank you know um that hose you know it's another small one like the heater i don't see any issues with any of this this turbo has been off this engine it's got the same hose on it it's never leaked it's got the original clamps there's not a drip there's not even a sweat of coolant anywhere on this vehicle so what are the leaks we do see water pump is the most common one okay that's why i recommend changing that as part of the big front engine job every 150,000 k's belt idler tensioner cam seal if it's leaking drive belts the bearings you know the whole lot in the coolant and the big clean out right so that's what you want to know of as prevention i thought i'd just throw that in with the hoses this hose is going to come off while you're doing it it can go straight back on again waste of money you can spend the extra 25 30 bucks if you want that's fine it's just a waste because you're going to throw the other one in the bin and there's nothing wrong with it i've seen them at four five hundred thousand probably even higher i'm sure there's people out there i'll be looking in the comments actually if anyone hung around this long let us know if you own a 1kd prado or hilux and you've done over let us know anyone with high k's anything over four or five hundred thousand k's have you had any issues with hoses? And if you have, please include the fact that it was probably worked on before, maybe it was an aftermarket hose, a clamp had been changed, or someone's changed the coolant with a cheap product, possibly some bad water. Do you know what I mean? There's always a reason. When we look at the vehicles where have been looked after like factory like this, they don't have problems, okay? Anyway, guys, I hope that's been helpful for you. I hope you got something out of that. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and we'll be looking at those comments to see who's got the highest K 1KDs with or without any cooling system leaks. As I said, the water pump, the radiator sometimes, I wouldn't worry about it. What am I forgetting? 
Don't touch the thermostat, it's hard to get to. They're always accurate. Should idle about 83. Doesn't matter if it's a couple of degrees either side, really, as long as it still works and opens up more and flows properly at running temperatures, if you know what I mean. But I'll talk about more about thermostats in another video. This was mainly, it was long enough on checking cooling system and that. Hopefully you got that information. Bada bing, bada boom, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. See you guys.